Hello, everyone. Thanks for joining us. Uh, I'm Saurabh, and today I'm joined by Peter. Hey, Hello. Peter. Uh, today we're going to be talking about throttling. So, Peter, what is throttling, and why do we even have it in Microsoft Graph? Sure. Um, every web API needs some form of rate limiting, especially a public API that is exposed for everyone to call. Um, we don't have any way of influencing how you're going to write your code. So as a service, we need to protect ourselves from applications calling too much, consuming too many resources, which would uh, affect other applications trying to call Microsoft Graph. So, uh, and it happens uh, all the time. We see it in our internal development as well as third-party developers, not fully realizing what the volume of all their calls will be. And uh, they often find out in production. So we have we need a way to not only protect the service, but also to let them know that maybe they're making too many calls. Okay. Okay, so so how does Microsoft Graph uh, implement this uh, throttling? Um, at some level, it's very simple. Uh, when the when the API decides that you're calling it too much, it responds with an error mm -hmm. with a status code four two nine. Okay, and it provides a retry after value okay. in the header. Okay, so it's basically telling you, hey, you're calling me too much. Uh, why don't you back off? Wait this period of time, and then you can try again. Okay. Um, and it's very it's very important that your application code expects that error mm -hmm. and it that it does the right thing when okay. it sees it. If you, for example, just kept um, uh, retrying all the time without backing off, mm -hmm. the service will keep throttling you and you might never recover. Oh, okay. Okay. So that the time keeps going in loops uh, or the yeah. retry header is what you said? Keeps, yes. It keeps coming back. Okay. Exactly. Okay. So uh, let me show you what that looks like in yeah, practice. Absolutely. So um, I have an app here that I wrote in uh, C Sharp. Okay. Um, it's more of a background process app. Its job is to um, call Microsoft Graph um, as far as fast as it can to, in this case, perform license removal operations in Azure Active Directory. And I know that API has a f uh, fairly low throttling level, uh, mm -hmm. so I picked it for this example. Okay. So what I want to show here, I'll, I'll just run the app, and it's really issuing parallel requests against Microsoft Graph. Okay. And uh, I set a break, break point somewhere where um, where I catch that 429 um, response okay. that I mentioned. So here we are. Um, I'll show you how what this looks like in JSON format. So as you can see here in the headers, the status is 429, mm -hmm. so I'm being throttled. And in the headers um, uh, section, I have the retry after header, okay. and with the value of ten in this case. Okay. So it's, these are dynamic values. Okay. So and that's ten seconds. Seconds. Okay. Yes. And here I have some human readable information. In this case, it's telling me that um, uh, the specific reason why I got throttled implementing by, uh, implemented by Azure Active Directory. Okay. So what I do here in my application. I take that value from the header and I re-add that request to my retry queues. So I implemented retry queues and uh, I put it there with the 10 second interval and my app will pick that request later on. Okay. Um, so uh, if you had a, a user uh, interface um, application, you'd probably handle it a different way. You'd tell the user about the fact that they need to wait a little bit, but here I'm just going through all the requests as fast as, as I can. Okay. And when I get throttled, I just pause and wait a little bit. All right, that was awesome, Peter. Thank you so much for the overview about throttling. Uh, and thank you, everyone, for joining us. And if you want more information on throttling, please look at our documentation on graph.microsoft.com. Thank you.